Rotator cuff injury is damage to any of the four tendons that stabilize the shoulder joint. Rotator cuff muscles are abbreviated in the word sits which are supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor and subscapularis which have an important role in the stabilization and motion of shoulder joint. Most common tendon to be injured is the supraspinatus tendon. Every time you move your shoulder, you are using the rotator cuff to act as a stabilizer and help the joint to move. Overuse or acute injury can lead to rotator cuff strains or tears. There are two types of tear which are full thickness tear and partial thickness tear. A partial tear of the rotator cuff is an area of damage or degeneration to the rotator cuff tendons, where the tear does not go all the way through the tendons. In a partial rotator cuff injury, the tendon is damaged, but not all the way through. A complete, full thickness tear means that the tear goes all the way through the tendon. It may be as small as a pinpoint, or the tear may involve the entire tendon. With complete tears, the tendon has come off, detached, from where it was attached to the bone. This kind of tear does not heal on its own. There are two main causes of rotator cuff tears, injury and degeneration. An injury to the rotator cuff, such as a tear, may happen suddenly when falling on an outstretched hand. It may also develop over time due to repetitive activities. Rotator cuff tears may also happen due to aging, with degeneration of the tissues. Symptoms may be a bit different for each person. Symptoms may include, unable to sleep on affected shoulder pain that keeps coming back, especially when doing certain things such as lifting over your head. Pain that prevents you from sleeping on your injured side, grating, or cracking sounds when moving your arm, limited ability to move your arm, muscle weakness. Treatment will depend on your symptoms, age, and general health. It will also depend on how severe the condition is. Treatment may include rest, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, strengthening and stretching exercises, ultrasound therapy, corticosteroid shot, injection, surgery, for severe injuries or tears. Your healthcare provider will take a complete health history and do a physical exam. You may also have diagnostic tests such as, X-ray, this test uses invisible electromagnetic energy beams to make images of internal tissues, bones, and organs onto film. MRI, this test uses a combination of large magnets, radio frequencies, and a computer to make detailed images of organs and structures within the body. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.